our third stop. Uh, it's in my office in Whitby. Let's go in. Let's go. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go. Wait a minute. today in Whitby with uh, Hamza Diab, Blog Middle East uh, Toronto. Uh, I've been in real estate for seven years uh, with the same company uh, based out of Durham region, but uh, I cover a GTA area, West, East. Uh, you follow your client as a, as a realtor, uh, so that's how uh, uh, I build my business based on uh, referrals uh, mainly. So seven years in the business, uh, there's challenging parts, there's uh, lots of uh, fun parts, uh, like any in any business, uh, but our business focuses mainly on connecting with clients uh, and people. Uh, I love what I do because it is helping families and individuals with uh, one of the biggest investments in their lives. Uh, they, they have to trust you, you have to guide them through. Uh, be an advisor more than a salesperson uh, and uh, I, I seen uh, families starting with a, as first time home buyers then investing then I bought for their kids so that's why when I say I started in Durham but whatever my wherever my clients go I follow them like I move people from Durham to Belleville from Durham to, uh, to Oakville Toronto and Every client, it's it's a story. It does a story. It's their their life story. It is a big decision. The idea of buying a property is very exciting and fun, but when you start the process, there's lots of stress, and this is where we come as professionals with our knowledge, experience, and guide them through it. And bring in like I have an army behind me that helped me from my office staff uh, to mortgage brokers ins inspectors uh, uh, contractors so we connect them with the right people uh, it depends what they need uh, we build a business like I said based on referral and repeat client uh, but we always look for new business uh, I have lots of uh, Lebanese Arabic clients, which is I'm grateful uh, for their trust. And I have lots of uh, different backgrounds based on, you know, Toronto or multiculture, and that's we we get exposed to the exposed to different culture within our business. It's like any business. But أكيد التعامل مع العرب بشوي different اللغة خاصة newcomers the last few years. آخر كم سنة شفنا كتير عيال دي موفد من الخليج من لبنان من سوريا وبدون اللغة بدون حدا يحكي لغتهم بتسهل عليهم الأمور وبحاول كنكدا مع عالم كمان مورجج بروكرز مثلا عربي أو محامي عربي تتساعدون through the process Rola, as an individual, I only been in real estate for seven years, but it feels like I've been in it for 20 years. Uh, I joined a huge company. We have 10 offices across the GTA. And the reason I stay with Century 21 Leading Edge, because their value align with my values. Uh, like I said, it's not just a business transaction. Every client, there's a story. You have to listen and you have to give them what's best for them. You have to keep in mind what's best for this family. It can be first-time home buyers, growing a family, moving them to a different area, or investing. Uh, <clears throat> before real estate, I was in uh, the retail world. I started in 98 uh, as a store manager, uh, and I became district manager and then VP of operations, where I traveled uh, Canada. My job in, uh, in retail, when I became national uh, director, then uh, vice president of operations, it was uh, such a great experience. It allowed me to travel Canada coast to coast. 
and every province is a bit different in terms of culture, in terms of the mix of people. It, uh, it was a great, great experience. I enjoyed it. I made so many connections. I, I still have friends, even though I've been out of it for uh, almost 10 years now. They still use me as a reference. I have close, close friends from my job in retail, uh, from different backgrounds. Uh, and uh, I brought this experience, how to deal with people, because managing where I was, I wasn't selling. I was managing and growing leaders. I was taking people and training them to become great managers and district managers and focus on bottom line and productivity and growing them as leaders and, peop and, and human. Uh, and that helps me a lot with real estate. Uh, it, uh, it's easy for me to read people now. I, I have every person need different attention. Uh, so I think from my uh, retail world, uh, I brought that experience to help me uh, become a, a, they call me, they're friendly real estate. <laughs> most, most of my clients are friends now, which is amazing. Uh, I love what I do. I enjoy it and it gives me the flexibility as well. I, I'm, I'm, at a, I'm a grandma <laughs> and I want that. Uh, flexibility so certain weeks I, I work late I work long hours I work weekends but where I need to I will block days and hours to have the the balance I want because my new fear in life my new especially after I lost I experienced the, the greatest loss and pain in my life when I lost my brother last year I wanted to live rich and not die rich uh, living rich is, is surrounding yourself with great people. It starts from my clients. So when my clients interview me, I interview them as well. I am very selective. I don't work with tons of people, but I want to work with people who have the same respect and loyalty. Uh, so this is Rola in a nutshell. Okay, so the person or the person I came to Canada when I was 16 years old. I came with my friends, I was already married. Uh, at a young age, Gina can Khayi Hon, so Gina can be Ajax, my late brother, Allah Yerhamu. And uh, he was a young dad with a baby, he was only 26, uh, and he went overboard to, to bring us here because the Immigration Canada, when he sponsored us, and the reason he wanted to bring us over because of the war. See, he wanted he wanted us out to safety, he, out of Lebanon to, to come to Canada. Immigration Canada, they did not uh, grant him uh, visas because he couldn't sponsor that many people. So he went to uh, on TV on a live show and he told his story. And that's how uh, Immigration Canada called him and gave us express visa to come in even without going through the process in Beirut. So we left Beirut uh, within a few weeks. So we came to Ajax the, the first few weeks. Then we settled in Scarborough. Uh, I have two amazing daughters, Rima and Rana, four grandchildren. Uh, my, I think my biggest achievement and what makes me proud every day uh, are my kids. Uh, I learn from them every day and I try to be a better person every day for them. Uh, my whole family is here, siblings, mom, dad, I have lots of friends, close friends, uh, and we're all living in, in Durham now, uh, my family. If, uh, if you like to reach me, if you have any questions about uh, real estate, you can call me at 905-999-1899.